In 2018, Council recognised the need to replace the wooden southern pontoon of Moore's Boat Ramp. The Council applied for and was successful in attaining $85,000 from the State Government through the South Australian Boating Facilities Grant Program. Council was able to match that funding with $85,000 it had saved through the collection of boat ramp fees for the previous 10 years. Inspection of the Moores Boat Ramp facility, undertaken as the first stage of this project, revealed we were in a far worse position than initially believed. Those inspections showed the northern pontoon was at extreme risk of failure. Funding of the site, however, did not prevent the use of the pontoon sufficiently to mitigate the risk. The drastic measure of removing the northern pontoon was therefore undertaken. Design of the replacement pontoon was now well underway and were continuing. Council realised, however, that full replacement of the ramps, the pontoons and the concrete was also required. The firm we had been working with was approached to provide an understanding of the cost of the now much larger project. We had slipped into the 2019-2020 financial year. The estimate came in at $1.7 million. Council took time to take stock of where we were up to. The design work and development approvals were in place and the construction of the new pontoons are well underway. Council had exhausted its initial funding and we were not sure what we would be able to afford to do next. Tenders were called with an aim to understanding what could and could not be afforded. Four tenders were received in May 2020, with two coming in below the $1 million mark, and one being a local contractor. It was agreed, however, the costs would need to be included in the 2021-2022 budget development, knowing this would cause significant delay to the project. Given we were in the midst of COVID-19 and the fact Council was likely to raise rates by no more than 1%, it was not likely there was any other options for this small community. We agreed, though, to keep trying to access grant funding. In June 2020, however, Council was made aware the Federal Government would provide a COVID-19 stimulus package under the Local Roads and Infrastructure Program. At its June meeting, Council agreed it would put $495,000 of the $551,708,000 offered to Council to bring forward the completion of the Moores Boat Ramp facility. In July 2020, the funding amounts were confirmed and the relevant forms and agreements submitted. The funding was finalised and paid in August and construction commenced with the first required tides in September 2020. Thirsty Constructions and Tony Braz have been amazing to work with. They have created many jobs related to this project, both directly and indirectly, with current estimates sitting at 45. 
between on-site works, concrete, pile driving, crane and equipment hire, truck movements and people to do each and every part of the project, this has been a COVID-19 recovery success. Streaky Bay has a boat ramp facility it can be proud of. It has been funded by state, federal and council monies in partnership and stands as testament to what local Streaky Bay contractors are capable of. Thank you. Please enjoy this facility. <laughs>